What's going on guys? It is Amish Thief. I am going to go ahead and bring you some Fortnite gameplay today, but it's going to be a little bit unconventional because we are not going to actually play the game as intended. I mean, in a sense we are. But I'm not going I'm not going to try and win per se. I am going to try and build a statue for you. And I'm thinking I want to build well, you've probably already seen it in the thumbnail. I'm going to build a penis. Um, so let's go ahead and just lay out a list build of what we need. First things first, we're going to have to get together two sets. Not two sets. First things first, though, we're going to have to get together one pair of testicles. We're gonna, the balls are an important part. I'm not sure if we're going to build these or if we're going to just find a nice place and nestle them between two rocks or something like that or we're going to have to grab some balls. <laughs> Sorry about that. And then second, we need a shaft. Oh, hey, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Pa -pa -pa. Come here, baby. There we go. Yeah, poor guy. I didn't even know it was happening to him. All right, second, we need to grab. Why do I keep using the term grab? I am sorry, but we are going to have to build the lengthy, girthy sausage. And because I'm a single player, I don't think that I'm going to be able to build like a gigantic penis. Let me guys know. Um, let me know, you guys, in the comments below, if you want me to try and get a team together and we just build a penis of massive proportions. And I will go ahead and try and do that for you. And so then, clearly, after we have balls, sausage, we are going to need the tippity top mushroom tip. So then we're going to go ahead and supply that as well. So, for all of that, we're going to need a lot of resources, hence why I am doing nothing but hanging around in here and just grabbing, grabbing bush after bush, you know. Gotta trim the bushes before you get to the balls. As, as cheesy as that is, and as literal as that can be sometimes, it's the truth. So I'm going to try to get up to 999 wood, and we're going to then find a great place to go ahead and build our penis. Alright you guys, we completely mined up the inside of the hedge maze, so we're going to go ahead and head over to find a place to set this up. Now I preferably want to be inside the zone, so I'm going to move a little bit towards that way. And I think maybe set myself up, you know, right along the edge so it's not going to be right in the middle where it's visible. Because then it might be a little bit hard to set up. But that's why I would go ahead and say that just like the house, location is everything for where you find your penis. Like, I don't think you'd want to find your peen, your little your sausage member, or whatever you want to call it. You know, on your forehead, elbow. I mean, penis elbow is just a terrible thing to have, trust me. Don't even want to go there. And so, we're going to go ahead and find a beautiful place to rest our massive piece of junk. This entire... This entire video sounds very, very strange. I know, I'm sorry about that. Let's see. Holy crap. Jeez, that guy scared me. Whew. <laughs> I, think <he's, laughs> I think he was scared a little bit too. <laughs> I didn't even hear him come out. And I guarantee that he didn't hear me either. And we just ran out and freaked the butt out of each other. Alright, so I th I'm thinking these two buildings up here is where I want to build it, so I'm gonna go ahead and just nestle on in between these little little testes, and then I'm gonna go ahead and start building up for you. Because we need a good proportion shaft to our balls. These balls are gonna be really lumpy and apologize in advance, but you know, sometimes you got to you got to make do with what you got. I mean, don't make do too much. At some point that you got to say, "Hey, I got to go see a doctor for whatever I got going on." But when it comes to this, I'm sure that it'll be okay. You just got to make do with the balls you have. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is just go around here, outline a tip, you know, get some slants. And let's do that. Okay, perfect. How do you do the... 
after I do this, I, I gotta figure out how to change that. It's ooh, perfect first try. Okay, there we go. Very nice, very nice. All right, I'm going to hurry as fast as I can, build up so we can get a good view. And just realized I didn't need any more resources, but you know, it's good to have some just in case something happens. So let's build up and get a perfect view. Look at that. That's awesome. There we go. Tip, balls, shaft and all. Look at that sausage. I am taking sniper shots left and right, but I don't care. It's done. <laughs> the finished product is there. You know what would be really cool is um, I have that campfire. And so I think once the zone starts to close, I'm going to go ahead and cover up the tip of this PP. And then we're going to go ahead and put the campfire on as a little baby tip on the top of it. So that's going to be really funny. I'm going to go ahead and just start that, you know, get ready for it. Because the zone's going to close in about 30 seconds or so. All right, with that being done, we're going to go ahead and lay down our tip. And take some health really quick here. And then I'm going to go ahead and just get one last good look at this for you guys. All right, we're healthed. We are H-E-A-L-T-H-E-D, healthed. I don't think it's a word, but whatever. Beautiful. Let's get another look. <laughs> All right, here we go. So, here you go guys, last final look. Here is our penis, there are our lumpy house balls, and right here is our little baby tip. <laughs> and that looks hilarious. And I am satisfied with what we created. Go ahead and remember to leave a comment down below if you want to see me and maybe a group of other people make something more gigantic. Um, just go ahead, um, leave a like if you think this is funny, and I'll continue to post more things like this. And subscribe if you want to continue to see all these things like this. Um, with that being said, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.